The movie starts by showing Gondong City being controlled by the Mafia, led by Chi Fo. He's in charge of everything, and he's helped by his close friend Kim Gilsok, who looks after the industrial part of the city. One day, Gilsok goes to see Choi Musang, someone he thinks of like a big brother in the Mafia. Musang is a big shot in Gangneung City, especially in the market area. Gilsok greets Musang, who's busy playing games in the market he's in charge of. Later on, Gilsok gathers his buddies because one of them is getting married soon. But then, his friend Hyung-Goon tells him there's a problem. Some of their gang members got caught using drugs. Thankfully, Gilsok knows a police leader named Byung Chun, so they can fix the problem fast. After meeting the police, Gilsok talks to the gang members involved in the drug issue. But guess what? Turns out, the person caught isn't one of his guys. It's actually Lee Chong Sop, a mafia member trusted by Oh to manage gambling and nightclubs in the city. Because of what happened, Gilsok, Musang, and Chong Sop got together at a tavern to talk about what Chong Sop did. He had let his team use and sell drugs in their territory. During the conversation, Gilsok reminded Chong Sop that they all had agreed not to have anything to do with illegal drugs in the areas they controlled. While they were chatting about this, O arrived and got mad at all three of them. He asked Musang, who was the oldest, to look out for his younger buddies. He told Gilsok to stop blaming Chong Sop and instead help find ways to prevent him from making the same mistake again. Up on a rooftop of a building, there's a guy named Lee Min Sok. He works as a head of a loan shark and is responsible for cleaning up his boss's dirty deeds. He's sitting there, thinking about his plan to take down his boss. Min Sok's had enough of being under Bang Hyun's orders all the time. With a lot of determination, he goes to the main office to talk to Bang Hyun. He asks for a better job and more money, especially since he's been doing Bang Hyun's missions successfully. But Bang Hyun doesn't really pay attention to Min Sok's request. Suddenly, Min Sok attacks Bang Hyun, stabbing him in the chest. When the police arrive at the murder scene, they're shocked to find Bang Hyun and his crew all dead. There's also a young guy there, who's been made to look like he's the one who did it. In truth, Min Sok forced the young man to take the blame because he owed a lot of money to Min Sok. The young guy had no choice but to go along with it to pay off his debt. At the Arsa Resort, O calls for Gil Sok to have a personal chat. Gil Sok wonders why O is giving him control over a part of the resort when it's technically under Chong Sop's authority. O explains that he trusts Gil Sok's discipline more than Chong Sop's, so Gil Sok reluctantly accepts the responsibility from his gang leader. A few days later, Gil Sok starts setting things up at the resort, and then Min Sok arrives unexpectedly. Gil Sok meets him right away, knowing that Min Sok is a troublemaker in different places. Min Sok's there to talk about a drug deal, wanting his guys to be able to sell in O's territory. Gil Sok firmly says no to Min Sok's request. An irritated Min Sok stubs his cigarette into the soup on the table and leaves in a huff. Meanwhile, Gil Sok just chuckles at the behavior of the gangster leader. The other day, Gil Sok and Musam were at one of their subordinates' weddings. Suddenly, Chong Sop showed up and expressed his disagreement with O's decision to give Gil Sok control over the resort. Gil Sok tried to calm Chong Sop down, but they ended up arguing. Thankfully, the bride to be got upset at the scene and Chong Sop, feeling responsible for the disruption, chose to leave the wedding. Later that evening, Chong Sop talked to Musam, hoping to get him on board with opposing O's decision to let Gil Sok handle the Arsa resort. However, Musang wasn't too bothered by it. He was content with his role as the ruler of the market area. In the meantime, Min Sok is in a hotel room with a woman named Unson who owes him money. He tells her that the money she's been giving only covers the interest on her debt. Her actual debt remains unpaid, so she has to do whatever he asks if she wants to clear her debt. On another day, Min Sok takes Unson to meet O, oh, who's busy looking after his dry chili. O sees Min Sok and asks why the gangster has come to his place. Min Sok casually says he just wanted to visit the village and offers to help O move the sun-dried hot peppers from the yard. He also asks about the idea of killing others, and O casually responds that there's no need to resort to killing to achieve their goals. He suggests that gaining people's trust is the way to go. 
Before O can finish talking, Min Sook swiftly attacks O, blaming Eun Seon for the murder to clear her debt. Heading to the hospital, Gil Sook rushes to see O, but it's too late, O couldn't survive his severe injuries. Finding out that someone killed O, Gil Sook heads to the police station to confront the person who took down the head of his gang. He asks Eun Seon why she did it, but she remains silent, frustrating Gil Sook. He gets so angry that he's about to get physical, but a police officer steps in to prevent him. During O's funeral, all the Mayfi members gathered to pay their respects. After the ceremony, Chong Sop, Gil Sok, and Mu San discussed their plan for revenge. They had learned that the woman who got arrested owed a lot of money to Min Sok, making it likely that Min Sok was the actual murderer of O. Chong Sop and Mu San decided to team up with Byung Chun to set a trap for Min Sok. The plan was to catch him on charges of dealing illegal drugs. Byung Chun's team began keeping an eye on Min Sok's associates and waited for the right moment to arrest them after they engaged in illegal drug transactions. Concurrently, Min Sok is sitting calmly in his office, seemingly aware of the arrest plan. Out on the street, the police are seen chasing Min Sok's targeted associates. However, once caught, Byung Chun's team is disappointed because the transaction was a sham. No actual drugs are found in Min Sook's associate's bag. Instead, it only holds tea and coffee. Back at the headquarters, Chong Sop and Mu Song learn that the police failed to capture Min Sook. Fueled by anger, they decide to personally confront and kill Min Sook. Chong Sop invites Mu Song to join him, aiming to avenge O's death together. However, in a surprising twist, Mu Song and his men turn on Chong Sop's group, attacking them instead. In a different vein, Gil Sok is unwinding in a tavern when he gets an unexpected call from Chong Sop. Chong Sop is dying and expresses regret for always being disrespectful to Gil Sok. He realizes that he has caused trouble for Gil Sok many times. Before Chong Sop can finish speaking, Mu Song steps in and ends Chong Sop's life abruptly. Gil Sok is left bewildered by the sudden turn of events involving Chong Sop. Shortly after, one of Mu Song's allies named Chung Mo arrives, aiming to kill Gil Sok. Thankfully, Gil Sok survives a knife attack, but he's injured. The sound of a police siren causes Chung Mo to flee the tavern. Three months later, outside the police station, Min Sok and his crew are seen visiting several individuals who were once falsely accused of the murders Min Sok committed. Byung Chun arrives and praises Min Sok for successfully eliminating members of the Gangnam Mafia. He asks Min Sok how he managed to influence Mu Song to betray his own gang. Min Sok casually responds that he simply raised some questions about O's decision to give the resort to Gil Sok. On the other hand, following the attack he endured, Gil Sok left town and only returned to Gangnam after he recovered from his injuries. Currently, Gil Sok isn't afraid to take down anyone who has harmed his gang members. Before seeking revenge, Gil Sok visits the graves of O and Chong Sop. Later on, at the art museum, Gil Sok talks to Byung Chun and reveals his plan to take down Min Sok. However, Byung Chun questions Gil Sok's intentions, especially since Min Sok has been cleared of any charges. Gil Sok doesn't really care about that because he's made up his mind to do what he believes needs to be done. He won't rely on the police anymore as he sees them as unreliable for letting Min Sok roam freely in the city. On another occasion, Gil Sok meets with Chairman Shin, one of the major shareholders of a resort in Gangnong City. Gil Sok seeks Shin's help to get rid of Min Sok. He knows that Shin has a grudge against Min Sok for betraying and killing Shin's boss. Unfortunately, Shin is hesitant to take the risk because Min Sok is currently a powerful figure with significant business holdings in Gangnong City. In an effort to persuade Shin, Gil Sok offers his own shares as payment if Shin is willing to help. This catches Shin's attention, as he's aiming to become the largest shareholder in the Gangnong area. With this incentive, Shin finally agrees to Gil Sok's proposition. After meeting with Shin, Gil Sok also talks to Mu Song, confronting him about why he betrayed their loyalty as fellow Meifei members. Mu Song explains that he felt he was never properly rewarded by O. He was given only a small area to control, while Gil Sok received the Grand Resort. 
Gilso tries to clarify that he never saw the resort as his own and asks Musan for an apology. However, Musan remains unapologetic. Suddenly, Jungmo, who is present, fatally stabs Musan. At the same time, Byung Chun and his team arrive to apprehend Min Sok on charges of drug trafficking and manipulating others into committing murder. Min Sok denies the allegations, especially since the police lack strong evidence. Nevertheless, he's taken to the police station for further questioning. In another corner of the scene, Shin seems to give the order to his men to eliminate both Min Sok and Gil Sok simultaneously. His ambition is to have complete control over the resort. Unbeknownst to him, a group of Gil Sok's associates tail them and take down Shin and his men. On the other side, Gil Sok sends his trusted ally to eliminate Shin. He's learned of Shin's plan to betray and kill him after dealing with Min Sok. Later on, a police car carrying Min Sok is intercepted by Gil Sok and his group. Bing Chun steps out and warns Gil Sok that his actions could lead to legal trouble. Bing Chun decides to safeguard Gil Sok by ensuring Min Sok is taken to the police station. As Bing Chun explains his plan, Gil Sok comprehends the police chief's intention and allows him to proceed. However, shortly after the police car starts moving, Min Sok launches a sudden attack on all the officers inside the car. The attack causes the car to overturn. Injured from the crash, Min Sok crawls out of the wreckage and readies himself to confront Gil Sok. Acting on impulse, Min Sok launches a blind attack on all of Gil Sok's men, taking them down one by one. Meanwhile, Gil Sok appears to observe the onslaught standing by. Eventually, Gil Sok steps in and directly faces Min Sok defeating him despite the havoc he caused. Min Sok, near death, admits that both he and Gil Sok are ruthless killers. Gil Sok, unfazed by the confession, swiftly ends Min Sok's life. Bian Chun, who survived the earlier incident, questions Gil Sok about whether he feels any remorse for killing so many people. Gil Sok responds by saying that he feels as though he died a long time ago, especially after losing his fellow Mayfi members. In the final scene of the movie, Gilso goes to the Arsa Resort by himself. He sits on the balcony, taking in the sunrise and appreciating the beauty around him. The moral of the story is when in doubt, don't use coffee as evidence. It's best for mornings, not mysteries.